All right, we're going to solve these three limits analytically, meaning algebraically. So to solve a limit analytically, basically all, all you do is, first of all, plug in that number. Basically saying, plug in negative 3. Let's see if it works. So let's plug negative 3 in. And what you'll notice when you plug in negative 3, negative 3 squared is 9. Look at the math here, negative 3 squared minus negative 3. You get 9 over square root of 12, which is a number. So you simply, that's your answer. You're done. Except for in here, what I did is I wanted to get the square root off the bottom. So I multiplied top and bottom by the square root of 12. Once I did that, the square root of 12 times the square root of 12 is 12. 9 over 12 reduces. And then right here, I broke down the square root of 12 into the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. And the square root of 4 is this 2 right here. So the square root of 12 becomes 2 square root of 3. And then the 2 cancel with a 4, and I get 3 squared 3 over 2. So I did a lot of simplification here. Uh, but basically, the first thing you always do on, on a limit is plug it in. It might just work, and you're done, and it's like wasted a whole bunch of time doing other things. Anyways, um, another method is um, you factor and try to cancel things out. So on the limit as x approaches 1 half of this, well, the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this top so I can factor it. And right here, what I'm going to do is pull out a negative 2. I never want my lead coefficient to be negative, so I pull a negative 2 out. That would become, when I pull a negative 2 out of all this, this is what I'm left. When I factor what's inside here, what I do is I multiply 2 times negative 4, get negative 8, bring the 7 down. And then 8 times negative 1, if I, I find out these numbers by kind of problem solving. So 8 times negative 1 is negative 8, and when you add it together, you get 7. And from there, okay, so those are my two numbers. And then what I do is I take that 2, because what I did is I multiply the 2 times the negative 4, and I end up dividing both um, of these numbers by that 2, which this one becomes 4, this becomes negative 1 half. And then you have x plus 4 is one factor, and the other one would be x minus 1 half, but you can't really have a fraction here. So what you do is you take this 2 and bring it up front. Now this factoring technique is kind of weird. You might have never seen it. It's kind of an odd factoring technique, but I really like it. And again, all, all you do is you take the front and the back, multiply it, take that goes to the bottom. Then you think of two numbers that multiply to get this and add to get this. And then this front number, the number the lead coefficient, not the GCF, the lead coefficient, you divide both of them by it, reduce, and then anytime you have a fraction, the denominator becomes the numerator in front of the x coefficient. So um, anyway, so that's my top. As you see, when I factor all this, this is the top. The bottom was a difference of squares. So we got a difference of squares. Now we cancel here, and what we notice is once we cancel, we get a little bit easier function. We have this over this. And then what I did is I'm now plugging in 1 half. By the way, I didn't show it, but if you try to plug 1 half in the beginning, you would have got an error. You would have created a 0 on the bottom, and you're not allowed a 0 in the denominator, so it would have caused an error. I, I should have said that right off the bat. You always want to check that, like here. might have been an easy problem. Anyways. But it doesn't work for the 1 half. But once I cancel this out, you actually can plug in a half. Watch. I have this right here on top. I'm plugging a half in for the x. And down here, I'm plugging a half in for this x. And if you see the math, this right here, you do the math here, you end up with 9 over 2. And the bottom, you end up, as you can see the math here, as 2. Then from here, those cancel, leaving you negative 1. And then negative 1 times 9 over 2 is negative 9 over 2. So when you plug in 1 half, you get negative 9 over 2. If you would have plugged it into the original function, you couldn't. But this new function I create, I can plug it in. And that's the goal. The goal is to factor and try to cancel something that you can then plug into and find the answer. So again, you're trying to cancel something out by factoring. Now the other way, number three, problem three, is you're still trying to make it so you can cancel something. But you don't do it by factoring. What you do is you multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the piece that has a square root. Now, this is a weird concept. It's not as common. But again, basically, you just are multiplying top and bottom by the piece that has a square root. So if you see something that looks kind of like this, oh, think in your head, OK, maybe I can do this. Multiply by the conjugate. And again, since it's a minus, it's a plus on top and bottom. By the way, you couldn't plug in 25. When you plugged in 25 originally, you got 0. And you, you multiply the top two, you multiply the bottom. Now the bottom I want to leave. You'll see why in a little bit. But you only, we just want to, this time, just leave it. But the top you want to FOIL. And when you FOIL the top, as you can see here, I get 25 minus x, which that looks a lot like this x minus 25. 
So what I thought, okay, what if I pull out a negative 1, flip these two around, got x minus 25 now. Now that matches the bottom. So this is now, again, once I FOIL this all out, it's really negative 1, x minus 25. I write that now on top. The bottom stays, these two. x minus 25 is cancel. So I'm left with this, which is a lot easier problem. Can I now plug in 25? Well, yes, I can. Square root of 25 is 5, so negative 1 over 10. When you, the limit as it approaches 25 of this function is negative 1 over 10. So you got to realize, sometimes you factor cancel, sometimes you multiply by the conjugate. Sometimes you just simply plug it in. Always check, please check to plug it in, first of all, it makes it so much nicer.